<laughs> Over four decades later, the boys are back. Two machine gunners and two radio operators in the U.S. Marine Corps Golf 2-5 coming together Thursday afternoon. But it was one radio op that made this reunion so special. Well, excited about seeing how much they'd changed in 44 years. Uh, it's been that long since I've seen them. Johnson flying from South Carolina to meet up with his military brothers, one of whom he helped save. Warner was with me the day I got hit on August the 12th of 1970 when our platoon walked into 2155 howitzer rounds that were set up as booby traps. We had seven of 23 people get killed and uh, 16 wounded. Best lost both legs from the incident, but that disability hasn't slowed him down in the least. And his friends know that for a fact. He wrote me a letter about two months after the fact and uh, told me not to worry about him. He was going to be all right. The Marine Corps was going to discharge him as a sergeant. But he was going to be fine. And he done exactly what he said. He seems great. I mean, he's got a grip on it, on everything. This gathering all thanks to another veteran. Uh, Ronnie Kidder, I really got to thank him. He's the one that actually found him. An Army guy finds a Marine, so, you know, that's pretty special for me. Very emotional, um, and it is, to sit around and to listen to their stories is very um, overwhelming. Who looks best out of all four of you? I think Johnson looks pretty dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out and going over old times, and let them talk, and I just listen. Plenty of stories, laughs, and memories expected to be shared over the next few days. In Bangor, I'm Karina Bolster for ABC7 and Fox 22.